Yeah. Hey, how you guys doing? Thanks for being on. Um, um, hey, Bumper, you're you're closing in on on Tony Boo's you know career tackles record. Um, I know you're into team stuff, obviously. But just wondering what that record means to you. Kind of what what are your thoughts been as you've been pursuing that? And I assume you probably met Tony because I know he was the honorary captain for the AM game. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, Tony being such a great person, I think makes it even you know more special. Um, I you know had the opportunity to talk to him before. Uh, like you said, the Texas A&M game, and uh, just kind of to see his, uh, you know, determination on the field, but then again, off the field at the age he's at now, and, you know, he's just, he's got that fire in him, so it just, you know, the fact that he's had it for so long uh, makes it that much more special, and uh, this weekend, getting to go out there and, you know, play Mississippi State at that stadium, um, you know, we've, we had success there two years ago, and that locker room just kind of means, means something to us because we got our first SEC win there. Um, so all of that coming together, it's special. And, you know, we're we're very excited about getting out there um, this Saturday. And you had 20 tackles there two years ago. I, I don't know if you remember that. You probably do. Probably remember each one of them. But what do you remember about that game, you know, for you in particular, and then just what a big lift that was for the team and the whole jukebox thing afterwards. Now that's just taken off, you know. Yeah, like I said, that locker room, um, there's not many moments in life that you have that are that special, um, especially for how hard we had worked leading up to that point. So being able to get the win, you know, have those 20 tackles, um, just a, a great, um, great moment for myself, but not only for myself, but for the entire team and kind of getting that oh, turn the jukebox on thing. And so just very special. And you know, we're um, we're having that in the back of our mind, you know, get that swagger back this week, um, get back in there. And then I, I don't um... I don't know if you call this dramatic irony or what, but, you know, Tony, he's from Louisiana originally, but he lives in, in Lucas and that's your hometown still. Right. Uh, I don't know, how ironic is that to you that he's living where, where you do and you guys have like a thousand tackles or whatever between you, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it's crazy. There's been uh, quite a few people move into Lovejoy. And so it's a, it's a great area, but yeah, like, like you said, the fact that, you know, I'm getting to chase his record um, and he's living in Lovejoy now. Um, it's very special and uh, just glad that I finally got to meet him. They had to put up a sign or something as people come into Lucas, like pictures of you and Tony or something, you know? <laughs> well, no, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay, th th thanks. Tom? Tom? Okay, no Tom. Yeah, I, I, I'm still here. I think it's Lovejoy, Bob. Um, so, Keytron, um, you've uh, you've come on with a couple of big games lately. Just kind of what has maybe led to um, this uh, recent upsurge in your uh, production? Just uh, just going out every day at practice, just giving all I got. And Coach said, like, make plays at practice. You're going to make plays in the game. So I've been making plays at practice and I've been showing on Saturdays. Yeah. In the event that um, you guys need to play Cade Fortin and Malik on – uh, Saturday, just what have you seen from those guys that, uh, you know, lead you to believe that you could have success with them? Uh, just being at practice, both of them have been super confident in the huddle and being confident calling plays. And uh, we've been uh, imitating the loud noise just to get them uh, settled in for the game Saturday. Yeah. Hey, Bumper, the drop eight really worked in that game in 2020. It was pretty good in, in the game last year. Uh, you feel like you got to mix things up. I mean, y'all kind of do a different thing now. Uh, you, you feel like you'll have to mix things up in this one? Well, no, we just have to be us. Um, I think that we've had a game plan that's worked. Um, and so if we just continue to follow the plan that Coach Odom puts in front of us and uh, we lock in on our keys for four quarters, um, that we'll have success. Now it's it's the, you know, getting late into the games and kind of strain, or staying away um, or, you know, straying away. Um, that we can't do. We have to continue to lock into the game plan for four quarters. Okay, thanks. Scotty? Yeah. For Bumper, I guess just in the last couple of years, how have you personally been tested in pass coverage against Mississippi State? Like, what are the challenges against their, their pass at your position specifically? You know, they run the same exact offense that, you know, Leach has done for, for 20 years or 20-plus years, um, and they stick to it. So for us, it's just being able to, you know, recognize recognize the routes um, like based off of the formation, and you know they stick to it. So if we can, you know, read what they're doing pre-snap, 
we'll have a lot of success. We just got to make sure that we're staying in our zones, not, you know, basically dropping too deep um, and make sure that we're doing a good job getting our hands on them. Yeah, for Keytron, I guess just if you could sum up, I guess, your your time at Arkansas to this point, and I guess if you had to say, what what do you think is ahead ahead for you or in store for you down the, down the road? Uh, I had some of my first year was kind of like rough coming off injury, but I feel like I locked in and put a lot of work in for this season and uh, slowly showing. And I feel like the future is very bright as long as I just keep uh, paying attention to the small details every day and making explosive plays. How long would you say that it took you to like get that injury out of sight, out of mind and just play? Uh, I'll probably say like that, that for, through that first season, like around this spring, my sophomore spring, it was, I was good. Uh, Keytron, uh, we haven't really uh, don't know much about Cade Fortin and the fans don't really know much about him. So I was wondering if you could maybe give us some insight on what he's like, you know, in the huddle and, and catching passes from him and stuff. Uh, he's very confident in him. I'm very confident in him and we'll be on the same page. We got our time in like in the off season. So I feel great about the time part of that, but I feel like he's a great quarterback. He's very calm in the pocket. and uh, He's going to be great for us today. Appreciate it. Bob, anything else? Yeah, but Bumper, you know, 2018, I know she didn't play, and I covered that game, but I honestly can't remember. What, were, were you hurt that weekend when you guys played State in 2018? Uh, no, or 2018, that was my freshman year. Um, you know, it's – I am I was young. Uh, I think Dre and Scooter were both playing. I remember getting in late. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I wasn't hurt that game. I just – I was a freshman. Okay, so you, you were there. You, you made the trip and played. Oh. Yes, yeah. this will be my my third time going back there. Okay, man, you win the lottery three times. Get to go to Starkville, um, <laughs> and I, I added up. I think you made forty plus tackles against these guys. I, I I'd have to look at other teams. I could get Andrew to do that. He's good at all those stats. But is there something about Mississippi, Mississippi State and their scheme that you know you're able to get? I mean, I know you get a lot of tackles against everybody, but is there something in particular about them why you get so many tackles against them? You know, I mean, uh, it helps knowing what their offense is doing. Um, they've, like I said before, done it for so long. And, you know, the keys to making plays is, you know, being able to be in the right positions. So we can see what they're doing pre-snap. It helps us out. And then being able just to run to the ball, uh, be ferocious, and try to get as many hits on, hits on those guys as we can. And then, you know, they're obviously, you know, you think about all the great defensive players Arkansas has had through the years. Now we see there's apples and oranges, tackle stats, because – Back in the 60s, they played 10 games and guys only played three years and different things. But what, what do you think it'll mean to be the all-time leading tackler when you think about all the great players that, that have been through here? I mean, that's what makes coming to Arkansas so special is there's a ton of uh, talent that's played here and there's such great history. So anytime that you can have a piece of history with a school um, like Arkansas, you know, it'll mean everything to you. And so, you know, we're just going out there to, to get a win and then we'll, you know, worry about all that whenever it happens. And I talked to Tony, and he he's aware of your family's history with Arkansas, how Im embedded you guys really are in the program historically. He says he appreciates the fact that somebody that it's really going to mean a lot to like you is, is going to get the record. Does that make it a little more special to you just because you guys are so Razorback, your whole family? I mean, it's, um, of course, I mean, anything that you can do to make your family more proud and um, it means the world. But, you know, we still got to go out there and do a job. And, uh, you know, we can we can talk about all that whenever, you know, it does happen. OK, thanks. All right, Tom, close this out. Yeah, hey, Keytron, Coach Pittman was talking to us Monday about how it's so critical for when they blitz that the receivers and quarterbacks have to be on one page, you know, with the hot route. Can you talk about maybe uh, the, the importance of being able to do that this week? Uh, we got to get the ball in our hands fast because they send in blitzes. And I uh, feel like Coach have put in a great plan for it. But we got to be ready for it. We can't have no mistake. And uh, have our quarterback in sack. Great game plan. All right. That's all I got. Well, Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you all. No problem.